The final stable release of Android 11 is almost upon us, and today we have the final beta of the new platform version to explore. This one's got some helpful media control additions, new emoji, and cats? <coughs> Take a sec to subscribe so you don't miss our Android 11 review coming soon, and we'll jump right in. First up, Google has addressed one of my major issues with the previous Android 11 betas, and that has to do with the new media controls which now live in the quick settings area. In beta 3, it's now possible to swipe them away when you don't want them, or swipe to hop between recently used media apps, like a music app or a podcast app. This also functions a bit like a regular notification, in that you can tell it to go away when you're done listening, as opposed to sticking around in the background. At any time, you can swipe down on the notification shade to view active media playing in the background, so the dynamics of how this all works is a little different to the old Android 10 days. Next, there are new style emojis. Android 11 of course brings dozens of new emojis to the platform, but in the latest beta they've been redesigned with slightly more depth and more focus on primary colours. Minor differences, but if you've been looking at the standard Android 10 emoji every day for the past year then you're definitely going to notice it. And then there's the new Android 11 easter egg. It's actually unusual for these to break cover before the stable release of the new version of Android, but here we are. It's a fresh take on the Android Cats game from Android Nougat, which you can access here by cranking the Android dial all the way up to 11. Then you get these control sliders for cat food, water and toys in the new Android 11 power menu. After some swiping and prodding you'll then eventually have cats showing up in your notification shade, and sometimes even sending you adorable emoji filled messages. The whole idea here seems to be to have fun learning a couple of the new features of this new version, like chat bubbles and the new home power controls. Not exactly clear what else these cats might do if anything, but we'll keep you updated on the site if anything else presents itself. The final beta also removes the location permission from apps using the COVID-19 exposure API. Before, these apps would need to request location access to use Bluetooth, and since the COVID API is designed in a way that means you can't figure out location data, that permission is no longer needed. A little bit of extra peace of mind there if you are using a COVID contact tracing app. Right now, Android 11 is at the final platform stability stage of its development cycle, meaning it's really, really close to being ready to go. We're expecting the public launch to take place on September 8th with new Pixel phones, the Pixel 4a 5G and Pixel 5, landing exactly a month later. So stay with us and subscribe so you don't miss all that Android goodness coming up. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.